Welcome to my channel Black Sheep Logic. In some upcoming reviews I'm going to take a look at some cable testing tools such as this Fluke IQ cable tester or this Fluke link runner. But these tools along with some others that I will cover are actually quite expensive tools. And today I want to take a look at something a lot more basic as an introduction to this topic. What I have here is a very simple cable tester by Byte Brothers. I've seen the same tester branded Jonard and I'm sure there's other rebrandings of this tester as well. As I have mentioned in a couple of my other videos, the point of termination is always a good place to start when troubleshooting a cabling issue. So let's take a very quick look at this Byte Brothers cable tester on the bench and see what it can do. This is the Byte Brothers cable tester. This is specifically designed for testing network cables. It can run an automated test of all of the pairs in the cable. You also have the option of testing individual pairs. This tester also has a BNC socket for testing coax. It can also generate a tone on all pairs or individual pairs as well as the coax. And it is sold in a kit with this probe. You also get a very short RJ45 patch cable and a very short BNC cable. Here on the bench I've laid out some optional accessories that I have which I find very useful. This is a short patch cable but it's a little bit longer than the one that came with the cable tester. This is much more convenient. There is not a lot of need to test coax but I carry with me a adapter. This is a BNC to F adapter and I also like to have a short cable that goes with that. In addition, the adapter allows me to use a cable like this, which is an F connector to RJ45 and alligator clips. I also typically like to have a RJ45 to alligator clip cable, such as this one. This is nice. This gives you an RJ45 connection to the cable tester. And then you have an RJ45 pair, an RJ11 pair, and a set of alligator clips. I don't particularly like the tone probe that this kit came with. Although the cable tester itself feels quite good, this feels really cheap and nasty. For basic tone probe, I quite like this one from Triplet. It's the Fox and Hound 3 tone probe. A large number of issues can be solved with just these very basic items I have laid out on my bench. For testing an RJ45 patch cable, there is a terminator that's stored in the end of the Byte Brothers cable tester. I have an RJ45 cable plugged into the cable tester as well as its terminator. Turn the unit on and then perform the test. The tester is showing that the cable passed. You can also test each individual pair. Turn the cable tester on. Perform the test. Step through each of the pairs. The shield is open. This is an unshielded cable. Testing coax is much the same process. Turn the unit on. And then we press test. In order for this test to pass, the cable needs to be terminated. I have a shielded patch cable now connected to the cable tester. Although the cable tester can generate a tone on any particular pair, I find the tone is actually quite difficult to pick up. So when placing a tone on the cable, I place the tone on all pairs within the cable. To do this, first we need to turn the unit on, and then we need to hold down the tone button. Once the indicator is lit, a tone is being placed on the cable. The tone is initially placed on the first pair in the cable. We can press the tone button to cycle through the pairs and eventually it will place the tone on all pairs. This is the toner that came with the kit. And this is the triplet Fox and Hound 3 probe. This is an analog tone generator, so it will work with pretty much any probe on the market. In future videos, I will cover some of the more advanced tools and troubleshooting techniques that are used. But in today's video, I really wanted to focus on these cheap cable testers that are really accessible to anybody. They're not only very useful and inexpensive tools, but a large number of problems can actually be found just using something as simple as this cable tester. I really like this cable tester from Byte Brothers. It's held up really well. Some of the others I've had in the past have not been as durable and they've not been that much cheaper either. I hope you enjoyed this video and there will be more videos on this topic along with my usual reviews. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.